Hey everyone and welcome back. So my package actually came in uh, just a couple days earlier than I expected and as you can see here it is in fact the uh, Creepshow Fluffy Bus from Trick or Treat Studios. I've been wanting to get this as it came out which I think was like what a year or more ago. So it's definitely been a while and I think it's actually limited and I kept holding off because it is you know, it is actually very expensive. But during the Black Friday uh, weekend sale, they had, uh, I think it was on Sunday, where they had thing like three times that day, where at uh, one a given point, they were gonna have a special uh, discount on certain items. And it's like, okay, well, let me see what's going on there. Even though by that point, I'd already assumed like, okay, I'm not spending any more this weekend because I spent a lot of money during like the vinegar syndrome uh, stuff and the severance stuff. And I remember the first thing that they did on that day. So the first of the three, was I think like wall decals and I was like eh, okay that's not my thing but that's fine and then the second one I think was pins and I used to be in it like super into pins like a couple years ago it was like a bit a year where I was like really into pins I had like two boxes that are just like filled with pins I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do with them but you know they're there a lot of them actually really cool but I'm like I'm sort of beyond the pin thing at this point and I'd kind of given up but then I decided to just see what the third uh option was which was like a six or seven o'clock uh, that night. And it was for 50% off fluffy bust here. And I was like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. And I was like, I, I cannot pass that up. Cause I was like, if I was ever gonna get it, that was the time. And so yes, obviously indeed I did cause it's sitting right here. I've not even opened it yet. I literally just got it in. I'm gonna open it on camera. Uh, so just real quick. So obviously Creepshow, for those of you who don't know, is one of my favorite, uh, not only one of my favorite horror films, it is actually also one of my favorite films. It's one of the films that really helped create my love of horror. So Creepshow always has a very special place for me in my heart, my life, in my soul, <laughs> all the above. And the thing about this is that Tom Savini actually sort of sculpted this for them that they then went and made I believe like 500 of these I think here's just the box there's the side of the box oh man this thing's pretty heavy and actually here's a little thing which you can see, hopefully you can see right there Tom Savini sort of uh, sculpting it there. And there's text here on the box that says, hey, hey, welcome kitties. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling a bit edgy. Maybe I'm still feeling the effects of our last story, or maybe it's just because I haven't been out in a long time. That's it, I've got that box in feeling, hey, hey, which reminds me of another tale in my lurid lexicon. A little fear fable called the crate, and just a little thing on the bot on the top there. The most fun you'll ever have being scared. So we try and take this out of the box. I even have the 24 millimeter lens on the camera today because I knew I was going to need a little bit more room to do this. So don't mind some of the mess in the background. I think luckily it's blurred out. So <laughs> while I redesign this room, okay, let's see. I all right, so obviously this is gonna take some doing. I gotta get the styrofoam out and try and cut the tape off. And there's the outer box, and let's see. Easy way to get the tape off, or am I gonna have to just cut it? Sometimes uh, there's a little piece of the tape you can kind of undo and then just take it off real easily. I think I'm gonna have to cut the tape. The exciting part of uh, unboxing videos: cutting tape. And I'm getting styrofoam everywhere, including on myself. Okay, almost got it. All right, let's see if I can do this properly on camera. Hopefully I'll have a much better place to do these unboxings uh, once this room is a little bit more complete. Here we go. All right, wow. This thing is so big. That's what she said. Ugh. Wow, that's got some decent weight to it. Like, it's not like super, super heavy, but it's definitely got some weight. Like enough where you kind of feel like it's worth it. Okay, there, here is Fluffy, quote unquote. And here we go. Look at that, just detail in that. I'll, I'll get some closer shots in a moment. But so just as a heads up, this is almost like a half. Uh, just so it's a little bit easier to display, which is, I think, what I'm going to need. I'm kind of glad it's not full, because I don't know where the heck I could actually put this. So this makes it a little bit easier, because I can put it uh, on a shelf, sort of up against a wall. Although I do need to be a little mindful of the weight. It does have decent weight. If you can just see, like, just the overall detail of it all around. And again, this is, uh, this version was, again, d uh, designed uh, and sculpted by Tom Savini. 
based off of his original design. Look at the eyes right there. And the teeth, gotta see those teeth. That's what made Fluffy so memorable. Those damn teeth. But here, so here's a better look on the side. And there's the other side. Even good detail in the ear there. And you can see just by the size of it, you know, me kind of just holding it next to myself. This thing is amazing. I mean, again, if I had any minor gripe at all, and it's a very minor one, is maybe if it just had Creepshow uh, or something, or, you know, the crate. There's just something here on the base rather than it be plain, uh, plain. Very minor, minor thing, but overall, absolutely love this. I know some people kind of are like, why isn't it painted? Because it's supposed to match more the clay uh design which again i kind of i actually kind of like this sort of a mono uh color and i think if it was painted it would probably cost like you know at least twice as much wow so definitely a very nice piece for me to have in my creep show oh here actually on the bottom <laughs> there you see creep show fluffy sculpted by tom savini that's nice now the only thing too actually which i'm just noticing right now unless i'm missing it somewhere um on the outer box, it did say it was number 292 out of uh, 500, but I don't see any marking on this itself. So the box is numbered, but not this. And not that it's that big of a deal. I mean, even if this wasn't limited, I mean, I still would have kind of gotten it. But yeah, here is the Trick or Treat Studios fluffy bust. So something I definitely want to make room. <laughs> Something I definitely want to make room for uh, in this room once I uh, redo my sort of Romero area. But yeah, I've definitely been wanting this for a very long... Let's get it more in focus. So I've been definitely wanting this for a very long time since it came out, again, like a year ago, a year and a half ago, somewhere around there. So very happy I was able to finally uh, get one. Ugh. That thing is a beast, let me tell you. <laughs> no pun intended. So once it's actually, so once this room is done and I have it set up, obviously I'll be doing a new room tour uh, and everything. And you guys can see where I'm gonna display this. There's also some of my other Romero stuff along with everything else that I have in this room. Actually, I don't know if you ever saw it, but just in case I am actually wearing my crate t-shirt, which I think was an older uh, Fright Rags shirt today in honor of this once this came in. So super, super happy to have this in my Creepshow collection and definitely wanted to obviously do the unboxing with you guys. And now we can get back to work on this room and actually get this thing set up. So I'm glad I was able to share this with you guys. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.